Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Carlo, your Director of Faith Formation for St. Mary's, Saints Mary and Martha, Our Lady of the Snow, and Good Shepherd Catholic Community. I hope your summer is going well so far. And while we do have a lot of summer to go, we are busy here preparing and planning for the upcoming 2022-2023 Faith Formation year. Before I get to that, we do have some great uh, things happening this summer. You may have seen in church, in the bulletin, on social media about our summer vacation, our, our summer Bible study, which is currently taking place Wednesday mornings at 11 o'clock at Naka Hall at St. Francis Church. So far, it's been great. Uh, if you have an opportunity to attend, you are more than welcome to attend. It is not something you have to, you know, come and stay for every, uh, every week. You come once, come twice, come every week. It's up to you, whatever works for your schedule. Um, our focus is on the upcoming Sunday readings. We're also preparing for our uh, summer vacation Bible school, Marvelous Mystery. The focus is on the Mass and on the Eucharist. There's information on the bulletin, on social media. Uh, call my office um, if you would like to learn more information. That'll be the week of August 15th at St. Patrick's in Aurora. Beautiful location right on the lake. Uh, to talk about the great mystery of our Mass and the Eucharist. Another big uh, piece of information you may have seen that the Faith Formation Office has moved. Uh, we are no longer at St. Hyacinth. We are now at St. Francis uh, in the office there. Uh, so feel free to stop by. The address, the mailing address, and my office address is now the same, and the office number has changed. You can find that information uh, on the bulletin. As I mentioned, we are preparing for the upcoming faith formation year. Again, you may have seen in the churches uh, this poster about all that we are offering this coming year. It's my hope that over, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing little videos about each of the programs. So the pre-K through seventh grade, our sacramental prep, youth and young adult ministry, our CIA and adult faith formation. We have a lot of awesome things coming up this uh, fall. Uh, and to bring us to the 2022-2023 year. Uh, something for everyone. Uh, faith formation is not just for kids. It's not just for uh, those who may think that, you know, I don't know anything. It's for all of us. We all uh, can grow in our faith. And as we enter into this three-year uh, Eucharistic revival in the United States, there's so much for us to learn about our faith, especially the Eucharist, the Mass, uh, that great beautiful gift that is given to us. And the hope is that in these three years, we will fall more deeply in love with Jesus in the Eucharist, in all the sacraments, and really start a revival. That's what we're, uh, we're preparing for. And the last thing I'll uh, mention and share with you today is you will see this coming weekend, uh, a new poster hanging up with Jesus calling you. Uh, all of us have a mission. When we were baptized, we were marked with sacred chrism. And in that marking of the sacred chrism, we were con uh, conferred and baptized into Jesus's threefold mission as priest, prophet, and king. As a prophet, we're meant to share the gospel at all times in our lives, in our homes, in our workplaces, when we're having fun, no matter where we go and what we do, we're called to live and preach the gospels, most especially to our actions. As a priest, we're supposed to pray. We're supposed to pray without ceasing, as it says in scripture. And as a king, we're supposed to serve with Jesus. And he taught us how to do that so beautifully, as we see in the gospels. And in all of our churches, we are looking for you to step forward to be in mission with us in all the various ministries. And as I lead all the faith formation ministries, there's something for everybody and, and all the catechetical programs. So if you're feeling the tug in your heart to maybe learn more or see how you can be involved in uh, a various, one of the various catechetical uh, ministries, please let me know. Please reach out to me. I would love to talk with you and share with you. The most important thing that you would need to be uh, a catechist in any of the faith formation programs is first and foremost, a love of your Catholic faith and a desire to share that faith. Everything else will come with training and mentorship uh, throughout the year. 
Uh, so we we're right there with you. Okay. Um, if you need prayers, I know you know we're still going through a rough time. There's still many people who are hurting and struggling. Please know that we are here for you. The priests, myself, Deacon Dennis, uh, with his doorway uh, ministry, we're all here for you. Uh, so please let us know how we can help you uh, and journey with you along your uh, journey of faith. I'm praying for you. I pray that you have a phenomenal rest of your summer. And I hope to see many of you uh, involved uh, either this summer with the, uh, the Bible study or Vacation Bible School or uh, in the fall as we begin our uh, programming. God bless you. I'll see you soon.